Hi, my name is Ada. I am myself and I'm going to be answer the 73 Vogue questions. What is your favorite place to be in the arms of my mom? What is something that you can live without breathing? I don't think I can live without breathing. The rest, I can perfectly go without it because I don't need it, even though I want it, but I don't need it to survive. I don't need to live. So I can't live without bread, and you cannot live without bread, so don't act like you can. What is a secret talent of yours? <laughs> Which one? I got many, but if I say it's not a secret anymore, uh, <laughs> I can talk while I sleep. Is that a talent? I think it is. If you don't think it is, Try to do it, exactly. What are three words to describe yourself? I mean, some of them are pretty obvious. Confident, beautiful, wise, strong. Three words, money, health, positivity. Where do you get inspiration from? Nature. Nature, talking to myself, my previous experiences, the people that I hang out with the most, animals, the food I eat, pretty much I get inspiration from everything that I, I enjoy. I don't go looking for inspiration, but whenever I'm in that activity or in that environment, I receive inspiration to do good, be good and think good. What is your favorite animal? <laughs> dogs. I love dogs. I love elephants. And snakes. I did not grow up liking snakes. But guess what? Now I do. Why? I don't know. No, I think I do know. I think I had a fear of snakes when I was growing up because I had a bad experience with a snake. But as I grow, now I can look at a snake and I freaked out. So I also like horses. I love lions, yeah. I love giraffes. As you can tell, I, I, I love animals that represent power, that represent energy, and that represent strength, and that represent loyalty. Because even if you don't think it does, it does. if a snake is loyal to you, you're protected for life. What is your favorite snack food? <laughs> Myself, no, I'm joking. <laughs> snack. Mango? I love mangoes. Is that, is that a snack? I don't know. What would consider a snack? But what I consider a snack is, is fruits. But... Pretzels? I like pretzels. What is your favorite piece of makeup? <laughs> Authenticity? I do not wear makeup, so I don't have a favorite piece of makeup. But if I ever do have a piece of favorite piece of makeup, I think it would be lip chapstick or lip balm because I, I like to have my lips juicy creamy mm -hmm, because i'm juicy and i'm creamy and that's every day what is the best piece of advice you have ever received uh -uh. this one is in spanish con paciencia el calma el burro se sube a la palma which mean with Patience and calm, the animal can climb the tree. Well, yes, I think that's what it means. But what if I can give an a best advice I have ever received in, in English? I have received so many advices, but I have not, I have not take all of them in consideration because why would I? Best advice. Be yourself. Right. What is the last book that you read? The Bible. I mean, I read it pretty much every every other day because I enjoy it. I, I truly do. To me, it's, it's, it's my favorite psychological and metaphysical book. And also, I love to read the stories. Yeah. That's the last book I, I read.
But if it's not that, think what was, what was I reading before starting this video? It is a book that I was reading. Uh, it was the power of positive thinking. Yeah, because if you think positive, you receive positive, and if you think negative, you receive negative. It goes both ways. What is your favorite gender of music? Um, Bantu, the Bantu gender, the Afro gender, the anything that, that involves tr trumps. Af Af African African songs, African rhymes. That's what that's what I like. Mm -hmm. So that you can just go and you go. Yeah, that's what I like. What celebrity do you want to be BFF with? Myself. Yes, because I am a celebrity. Hello. If you think otherwise, it's because you don't know me. And that's okay because you don't have to know me. Because I know me. And that's more than enough. <laughs> what is your biggest regret? Mm, 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 mm. In one of my previous relationships i'm not gonna say which one your my your business i regret not having a lot of sex yes i do yes i do yes i do but anywho next what is one thing on your bucket list all my bucket lists are already reality that's how i see it um build build a school in my home country and I am and I will what is your favorite quote uh, my favorite quote my favorite quote I think it's one of the quotes I said while, while making a video is my quote well at least I haven't heard it from somebody else if your imagination can go there yourself can be there what is your favorite sport to play and to watch soccer soccer but recently i also started enjoying basketball track running but so definitely soccer i enjoy it i love it i love to play i love to watch it i love to talk about it i love to wait to love to be entertained by it and i play soccer and i'm good at it yes i'm really good mm -hmm. what is your favorite place that you have ever visited I know I still have a lot of more places to visit, but my favorite place is Ebibeyin, which is the city, which is a city of a beautiful and amazing country. Google it. What is your guilty pleasure? <laughs> guilty pleasure? Do I have a guilty pleasure? I give my body whatever my body asks me for. A guilty pleasure. If guilty pleasure what eating ice cream i don't know what's supposed to be a guilty pleasure guilty pleasure guilty pleasure guilty pleasure what's supposed to be guilty if my body wants it i'm gonna give it to my body what is your biggest achievement being myself is my biggest achievement and some well I have so many biggest achievements in my own eyes because to me I'm so successful, so prosperous, so amazing. And every day being alive to me already is a big achievement. But something that involves other people, mm, not destroying the people that have destroyed me, even though I had the chance, the opportunity to destroy them. Let me put it another way. Don't do evil to the people who have done evil to me, even though I had the chance to do evil and even worse than what they have done. Well, not destroying the people that have destroyed me some type of way. I think that's a good way to put it, right? Yeah. That's one of my biggest achievements. Not returning evilness, not returning negativity. And I love that about me. What is the best thing to happen to you this month? <laughs> I cannot share it. I cannot share it. But those that know me know which one is it. And I'm extremely grateful about it. And I cherish it. And I celebrate it every day. Thank you. 
what is your go-to coffee order? I don't drink coffee. Mm, let's switch it up. What is your favorite go-to smoothie? Strawberry and banana. Mix it up. Oof. What is your favorite non-alcoholic beverage? Smoothies. Juices. I love juices. I love juices. Water. Yeah. What is your favorite alcoholic beverage? Alcoholic beverage. Wine. Yeah. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie? The one I'm going to be part of watch what is something that you can you cannot do but wish you could i can do anything there is nothing if i tell myself i can do this i'm not i can do anything that is not impossible in my mind whatever it is because also to me everything is learnable what is something that you cannot do nah but wish you could do anything i wish i could do i have done it i'm going to do it or i'm doing it that is not impossible for me what is a bad habit of yours? I don't label, I don't label things, bad habits, but something that I have choose and to me is is good for me to stop doing it is biting my nails. Yeah, just that. If you could have someone else closet, who would it be? Myself. Have you seen the way I dress? Hold on. Have you seen the way I dress? If you dress this good, you cannot wish for somebody else's closet. I dress good. I smell good. And I think good. I really do smell good. Yeah. If you could have someone else's closet, whose would it be? Myself. I don't want nobody else's closet. Because I don't want to dress like nobody else or like somebody else or follow somebody else's style or somebody else's fashion. No. I want to dress like me, whatever resonates with me, whatever whatever works with me. That's what I want to dress like. I want to dress like myself because I can only be and want to be myself. Mm -hmm. Favorite way to spend a rainy day? Meditating. Fucking. Working out. Or being in bed, listening to calm and relaxed music. Yeah. What is an ideal date? <sighs> to understand the person. That's my ideal date. The in well, a, a, a place where we can talk to understand each other. So that. Because if we go in a place to another where there is a lot of noise or a lot of distractions, I don't know. Me, I can I can easily focus on the person no matter of the distraction, but I don't know if the person I'm going to go on a date with can do the exact same thing. So I would prefer to go in a place where we can connect, where we can connect mentally, emotionally, spiritually, not sexually, that can come later on. But first of all, let's connect emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. And the sex will come easily after that. Who is your celeb crush, boy and girl? I don't have a celeb crush. My crush is myself. I look at myself every day in the mirror. I'm like, girl, mm, you, please. Get, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, can, what can I do to you? You look so good. You think so good. You smell so good. And you dress so good. So my celebrity crush is myself yes because i am a celebrity i'm more than a celebrity but let me know am i your celebrity crush i know you're gonna tell me but i wouldn't surprise if i were you i would have a crush on me as well what is your favorite day of the week every day every day of the week is my favorite day because every day i like is a good day already every day i like is a favorite day every day i can breathe every day i can just get up from my bed Feeling good, thinking good, looking good, as I always do, is a good day. So every single day of the week is my favorite day. Because every single day of the week, I am alive, I am breathing. And that to me, 
makes life better. What is your favorite type of breakfast food? I don't eat breakfast unless I want to or unless I decide to. But if I make a breakfast, it will be definitely fruits, a lot of water and ve veggie. Yeah. Because also when, whenever I rise, first thing I do after saying thank you, I work out, I meditate. So by the time the breakfast time is over, my stomach is already full, but full of the good thoughts I was thinking, full of my meditation that I just did, full of my positive thoughts, full of my prosperity thoughts, full of my, just full of my energy and my energy fills me up. So I don't go for breakfast. But if I want to have breakfast, it will be vegetables and fruits mixed together. What is your favorite meal to have for dinner? For dinner, bambucha. Google it to know which one is it. I'm doing a, an interview to myself. Bambucha. If you don't know what it is, Google it. Bambucha. It's a meal basically made of leaves and it's delicious. Just like me. No, a little bit better. No, nothing is better than me. Just like me. Yes, 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 yes. What is your favorite color? Sky blue, purple, black. Sky blue. Sky blue, sky blue, purple, yeah, sky blue, sky blue, purple, green, also green. I don't know, every color that reminds me of nature, I love it. Blue, the sky, green, the trees, so, yeah. What is your guilty pleasure TV show? Mm, I don't watch TV, so what can I say? But what I watch the most, I watch a lot of animes and cartoons, and a, a lot of uh, comedy, com comedy videos. What is the first thing you do when you wake up? Thank you. First thing I do when I wake up is to say thank you. That's the first thing I do. Once my, even before my eyes are open, thank you. Those are the first words that come out of my mouth. Those are the first words that are in my heart and in my mind. That's the first thing I do when I wake up. I say thank you and remind myself of who I am. Yes. What is your favorite season? Every season works for me because in every season, I already know what to do in each, in each season. I find my fun in each. I create my fun for each season. I create my joy for each season. If I had to pick one, summer, I love the heat, I love the sun, I love to be embraced, to be caressed, to be appreciated, celebrated by the sun. What are your three favorite holidays? Every day is a holiday. What? Every day is a holiday. Because every day you can enjoy, you can create, you can build, you can celebrate. You can have fun every day. Every day to me is a holiday because every day is a good day to love yourself. And if you're loving yourself, that's already a holiday, at least to me. How do you relax? No. Sitting, going out and going outside and sitting. Or hugging trees, that relaxes me a lot. What makes you smile the most? <laughs> When I see pictures of, of my family, when I look at nature, when I'm around nature, when I am around animals, yes, it, it makes me smile. Nature makes me smile. My friends, my friends make me smile as well. And myself, when I look at myself in the mirror, I'll be like, girl, you look so good. Mm -hmm. I, and I, I like to smile. I, I enjoy the thing of genuinely smiling. 
Not, I be cracking jokes to myself. I think you can tell by now. What is the best gift you have ever received? Time. That's the best gift I, I can I have ever received throughout my whole lifetime. The time somebody can dedicate to me, towards me about time. The time somebody somebody give me. But if it had to be something material, mm, what is the best gift you have ever received? What is the best gift you have ever received? Mm, I know which one, but I'm not going to say it. If you had a tattoo, what would it be and where would it be? I would, if, I, if, if I had a tattoo, what would it be and where would it be? I'll have a big one in my back, a big tattoo in my whole back, and it would be a picture of my mom. So if I, if I ever do a tattoo, I already know, a big one to cover my whole back. It's going to be a picture of my mom smiling. What is a travel must have? Books. For me, books. Books, a notebook, and something to listen to music. To me, that's must have. That's why every time I travel, the first thing I pack is a book, a notebook, and something that I can listen to music, or just book and notebook and pencils. With those three, we're good to go. And without them as well, we're good to go as well. I'm going to find a way to have fun anyways, with or without any of it. What is your favorite clothing brand or store? What is your favorite clothing brand or store? I don't, well, I don't have a, well, let me not say it. My favorite clothing brand or my favorite brand is myself. This is my brand. I'm wearing my bracelet as I should. It says stocking is cheap, doing is expensive. I'm wearing my own brand because I represent myself every single day. Um, but if I have to mention any other brand, I think I, I like brands that, that that stand for something positive, brands that stand for something, something uplifting, something beneficial for everybody else and not for them to just make money. So those are the type of brands I like. And no name comes to my mind right now. Yeah. But you know them. If you know any brand that stands for something good, tell them I'm wishing them all my support. What is your favorite smell? The sea. The smell of the sea, the smell of the beach, and the smell of trees. And my own smell because I smell good and that's every day who's the last person you texted the last person I tested well my phone is recording <laughs> Tina the boss is the last person I texted yes let me check I have my phone here uh, yeah the last person I texted is Tina mm-hmm I'm not going to read the text. Mind your business. When was the last time you cried? Yesterday. Were you named after someone? Yes. I was named after someone. My grandma. My, my grandma. My name. Ada. By the way, that's how you pronounce my name. Ada. That's how you pronounce it. Ada. Ada. What is your least favorite food? Least favorite food? My least favorite food is the food that I don't even know what it's made of. Did you don't tell me, hey, eat. But what am I eating? <laughs> okay. If I don't know what it's made of, no. Cut me out. What is your least favorite word? My least favorite word. Mm. My least favorite word. I think any word that comes out with the intention of hurting, destroying yourself or somebody else, that, no. What is your pet peeve? Pet peeve, what is that? Pet peeve, let me Google. What is it? 
What is a pet peeve? What is yours? Put it in the comments. Pet peeve. What is a pet peeve? Okay. What is a what is one of your pet peeves? Something that a particular person find especially annoying. Mm. I don't think I have one. Because I'm not annoyed easily. Because well, in order for me to get annoyed, I had to care. Let's start from there. And if I don't care, why would I get annoyed? And because also I mind my business. So whatever you do, if I had nothing to do, what will it annoy me? Do you? Yeah. What is your favorite time of the day? The rising. I like to rise. Sunrise and sunset. That one. If you could travel with anyone, who would it be? <laughs> I would travel with <laughs> with Tina. I would travel with Christopher. I would travel with my mom. I think those three. And with myself. I think those four people. Do you prefer vintage or, or new? Vintage or, or new? Both. Why do I have to pick if I can have both? Mm -hmm. When is your birthday and what is your sign? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to tell you when is my birthday, what is my sign. Because a lot of you are so smart and so spiritual that if I tell you my birthday, if I tell you my sign, you're going to go do a whole research paper about me. But no. But just know that my sign is money, prosperity, happiness, love, positivity, peace, health. What is a skill that you that you are working on? Um, I'm working on one someone. I I I work on if me and someone used to be cool, used to be friends, but for some reason me and the person fall apart. I'm working on developing the skill of letting the person go and stop caring about the person immediately. I'm working on it because it takes me, it takes me time to get over someone. But when I say time, I don't mean weeks. I mean like hours. What is your dream job? Mm, create jobs. That's my dream job. Create job for other people. Yeah. Dream job. Well, what do they assume that I want a job in the first place? Why do they assume I want a job in the first place? No, I don't want a job, but I want to create jobs. Yeah, I want to not, not only create jobs, I want to create, I want to produce, I want to express, I want to build things. And from those things, receive all the good things that come with it. Money, opportunities, resources, and all of that. Do you, do you have a dream job? How do you even know if I have a job? I want to I work. Well, I can work on myself, but working for somebody else is not the go-to. If you could live anywhere in the country, where would you live? Where is warm, and I can have, and I can see nature all day, every day. Which where I am right now, I do. What are some of your favorite baby names? What are some of your favorite baby names? Okay, the list is long. Ready? Go. Money, success, happiness, prosperity, love, health, wisdom, peace, kindness, joy, harmony, healthiness. Yes, those are my baby names. So if you if if you if you're gonna have a baby soon, you can pick from the list. You can call them money, or you can call them joy. Or you can call them prosperity, or you can call them wisdom, or you can call them kindness, or you can call them positivity. Yup. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? I am. I am myself. Yes. Are you an introvert or extrovert? I am myself. Yup. What? 
what is your first car? Do I even have a car? But you know what? Let me talk. Let me talk in the let me speak it into existence. Yeah. My first car is a Mercedes 2023 IMG D63 Sky Blue. That's my first car. What was your friend screen name? What was your first screen name? Uh, I think my first social media name. I think it was my name. No, it wasn't my name. It was the name that my my ID and documents have. I think yeah. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? Myself. If I had to pick outside of myself, I like chocolate. I like vanilla. Ooh, and I like strawberry. Mm hmm And caramel too. How would you describe your style? Myself. How would you describe your style? Myself. You let me know in the comments. How will you describe my style? Put in the comments. How would I describe my style? Myself. And I already described myself earlier, right? I'll describe my style as myself. Yeah. I don't know. What else should I say? Yes. If you could have one super power, what would it be? <laughs> to stay healthy forever. To stay rich and healthy forever. Happy and healthy forever. Positive and healthy forever. Successful and healthy forever. Joyful and healthy forever. Strong and healthy forever. Prosperous and healthy forever. Happy and healthy forever. Mm -hmm. That's my superpower. And I already have it. Yo, don't act like you cannot tell I have superpowers. What is your favorite course word? I said at the beginning that any word that it goes out with the intent to hurt so or somebody else or yourself or to harm or to destroy, it goes out with the intention of that. That word is my favorite course. I don't think I have a favorite course word. Well, I barely curse. But if I do, I know for sure I don't do it with intentions of hurting or damaging anybody or myself. No, no, no. I think my favorite, especially when my friends say it, the, he be saying the, with the, that way he say it, I think it's funny. So, what is the priciest thing you have ever splurred on? Priciest thing. Well, first of all, nothing is out of budget for me because I am money. Yes, I am. Not me talking about money, and I don't even <laughs> invest money like that. I think there's if I, priciest thing have been in anything I have invested for myself and about myself, whatever the price was, if it goes towards me and making me think better, look better, feel di feel better, just get into better better situation, better position is, whatever that is, then that's it. What is one item that you must have in your purse? At all time a book even not a book a paper that I can write on or that I can reflect on so I can I can even fold the paper and then put it into the thing mm, but chapstick yes cuz I'm telling you I like my lips to be mm, chapstick or, or transparent lip gloss mm -hmm. I like my lips juicy and creamy and shiny because I'm juicy, creamy, and shiny. Yes, I am. Yes. Where does one go on a perfect road trip? I don't know. Whatever place, house, city that you feel welcome, that you feel appreciated, that you feel loved, that you feel connected with yourself, drive there. Do you prefer cooking or baking? Why do I have to pick if I can do both? I can cook you and I can bake you. It depends on what you want tonight, love. <laughs> cooking, because I, I love to cook, because I love food. 
I love food. The reason why I learned to cook, I'm telling you, is because I love food. And I wasn't going to depend on somebody else to fill me up. Yo. Are you a shoe or handbag girl? Shoe. You can tell I don't have a handbag. Because also, pretty much whatever I need, feels always feels in my pocket. So pocket here, pocket here, pocket here, pocket here, pocket here, pocket here. Pocket here, pocket here. So yeah, shoe. I'm a shoe. I'm a shoe queen. Mm -hmm. How would you like to be remembered? That I was myself. That I let myself be, and I let other people be. I want to be remembered. I, I want to be remembered as as who I am or who I was when I was alive. Whatever that looked like, that's how I want to be remembered. Just because it's me. It's me. It's me. Yeah. Will anyone ever remember me? Will you re will you guys remember me when, when I'm gone? I know I'm gonna remember myself because I'll be like, yo, that girl was that girl. So yeah, I would like to be remembered that I was myself and I let myself be and I let other people be and that I am rich and becoming rich or I'm working on being rich if I didn't make it die trying oh. yes those are the Vogue 72 questions let me know in the comment which question you want me to answer next and also let me know are you are you surprised by the answers do you learn more about me so i did that i think i answered all of them right i think i did 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 let me know in the comments and also if you want more videos like this me talking about me my ideas my dream my goal my style let me know and thank you for watching